black bodies swinging in the southern breeze strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees over the years I've been collecting artifacts as a matter of fact I've been collecting little pencils like this I've been I've seen uh alligators uh, on jars, I've seen alligator ashtrays, and I've seen them depicted with kids in it. And I was wondering why the children would be there. As a matter of fact, this particular pencil sharpener, this is a pencil sharpener or a pencil holder with a kid, a black head of a baby sitting out of, the, out of its mouth. I didn't pay any attention. I have uh, been collecting for quite a few, few years and I have the, uh, uh, the posters and things like that about different things. And then one day I was down in Florida I'd gone down with my wife and I took a trip for myself off to the wild blue yonder going out to hunt artifacts. And in my quest to hunt artifacts, I came upon a pawn shop in, Sa in Sanford, Florida. In the pawn shop was a gentleman who owned it. They went and got him and told him I was there and I wanted to buy some of the shackles he had hanging around the walls. I asked him, to, uh, could I buy them? He said no. He didn't want to sell anything. He just wanted me to see it. Then we began to talk. Uh, and I asked him, I said, look, please, let me buy something. i got to take something from here. He says, no. He says, uh, I don't want to sell anything. He said, but uh, I'm going to the back and I'll sit down. Meanwhile, he came out and uh, came back out and he began to talk to me. He said, you know, he said, you probably don't know this. He said, but uh, years ago, he said, my great-grandfather, my grandfather, before he died, told me of the things they would do. He said he would go down. He said his grandfather said they would go down and they would take babies with them. I said, what do you mean babies? He says, well, let me tell you. He said the slave babies, the slaves who had babies, they would steal the babies during the course of the day, sometimes when the mothers weren't washing. I said, what do you mean babies? I said, you mean babies like five or six years old? He says, no. These babies, some would be infants. Some would be a year old. He said some would be toddlers. He said they would grab these children and take them down to the, the swamp and leave them in pens like little chicken coops. They would go down there at night, take these babies and tie them up because they hunted the big bull alligators. These big bull alligators were not raised on farms. They were in the wild. These alligators would weigh six, seven, eight hundred pounds. Those are the ones they wanted. They would skin them, make the wallets, get the meat, do different things with them. He said, but what they were doing was tie them up, put a rope around their neck and around their torso around here and tie it tight. He said, the baby, I said, well, what would the babies be doing? He said, well, my grandfather said they'd be screaming. He said, what would you do? He said, say, just let them scream. He said, what they would do, it would help them to chum the water. He said, when they would throw the babies in tied to this rope, he said, in a matter of minutes, he said, the alligators were on them. He said, the alligators would clamp his jaws on that child. Swat, as a matter of fact, once he clamped on them, he was really swallowed. He was, you couldn't see anything but the rope. And we would pull the alligator in and tie his nose and hit him in the head with an axe, a pickaxe. He said we would then drag him to the shore. We'd drag him to the shore and leave him lay and we would do it again, maybe two or three times a night. He said, I said, so what do you mean? He said, well, yeah, they were taking these babies and killing them for alligator bait. I said, so all these things I've been collecting, all these things I've been collecting are really, really something that I can really talk about and say they're of a truth by what you say. He said, I'm telling you, he said, nobody wants to talk about it. He said, I'm only telling you because you're here. I may never hear from you again. He said, but these things actually depict the acts that they did to slave babies back in the bayou country and down the south. They did this. They hunted alligators with these babies. That's why they call alligator bait. Peace, my people. I want to talk about the video we just watched. I'm curious to know. What goes on in the mind of an individual that causes him to commit such atrocities against any group of people? What is it within their culture that causes them to do these things? Then I will ask you, are they still capable of committing such crimes, such atrocities against any group of people to this day? If you say no, I would ask why not? Have they been somehow transformed? Have they been civilized through the laws of the land that exist this day? Slavery wasn't that long ago. They tell us to in fact forget slavery, but remember the Holocaust. They tell us to forget Jim Crow and Willie Lynch, but remember the Holocaust. 
I'm curious to know what you think about this. Hit me up, Chahuti, at secretsoftheanxious.org, at Chapoo.